if you are someone considering remodeling your home, you're engaging in a very, very expensive project, and you're figuring out what's the best way to leverage debt to go ahead and do that outside of you know capital, like cash savings, or if you lack the capital and you're looking for other means to do a particular job so that maybe you can generate more income in the future or increase the equity of your property. A bunch of different reasons that we all have, right? So with that, let's look right at the whiteboard. Let's start with the four major numbers, dealing with 24,300 starting out, total income. This is a husband and wife, so total income, 24,300. Total expenses in the household are $17,133. Total debt, is 1.6 million dollars and we have a cash flow of around seven thousand one hundred and sixty seven dollars we have thirty thousand dollars in savings we have a two million dollar life insurance policy on husband wife has a million and uh, husband has a 401k of $150,000. So that is the assets. Now, all of the debt, the 1.6 million, is mortgages, right? This person has four properties total. Three of them are rentals, one of them's a primary. In addition to the 1.6 million of mortgage debt, right? Four different mortgages. He also has four HELOCs. We have a primary HELOC in the second position on the primary home for $491,000 at 8.35% is the interest rate. All of these are variable interest rates. We have a rental HELOC. So we have a HELOC on a rental. Typically HELOCs on rentals have higher interest rates. Okay. So also in the second position, for 100 grand at 10%, another one at 206,000 is a credit limit at 12%, and the last one is 256,000 at 12%. So if you were to add everything up, we have over a million dollars of access to equity to do the particular job that this person wants to do. So again, estimated budget is anywhere from as low as 800,000 to about $850,000. Now, at the time of recording this video in December of 2023, this individual has already spent $200,000 toward the remodeling of the home, right? So we have another $600,000 to $650,000 to go. Now, what I did in this case study, just kind of mapping everything out, is I'm assuming in my numbers that the full 850,000 actually went to the, I used a high number of 850, so I'm completely overestimating. Based on my conversations with the client, they're really probably not going to breach 800,000. And I think worst case scenario was like 820 or 830, if I'm not mistaken. So it really shouldn't get near the 850 number, but still I'm using 850,000 and I'm assuming that by January, 2024, that we actually owe all of that 850 on HELOC debt across the four different HELOCs. So I'm assuming that, but that's not actually the case. What's actually happening is little by little over a four to six month period, you'll be paying the contractor for you know job by job, task by task type of thing. So by, I wanna say April of 2024, April, May of 2024 is when they'll finally owe all that money that he'll be leveraging right in this case so there's a couple of rules that i personally have when it comes to leveraging now in this particular scenario this is a client that is new they were already in the project they were already set on what they wanted to do they came to me to really brainstorm on what's the most efficient way to to go about doing this right so they were already locked in. This isn't me trying to talk them out of doing anything or talk them into doing anything. This is just simply solving for what they're trying to do. And then my job in this video, and hopefully you take this for your own situation, is to simply continue to share with you my rules of leveraging, my risk, right? Acknowledging the risk behind it. And if you're still, I want to do it, then that's you, that's your preference, you go ahead and do that. If you fail in the process, you'll know why. Because we what? Over leverage. Or if we didn't over leverage and still failed in the process, we're not, we're not setting ourselves back so much financially. We're not putting ourselves in a terrible financial situation, which is why I made this kind of a video which just you know, really dies into this. So four HELOCs, husband and wife, dealing with husband, married, two kids, $1,053,000 of available equity. On the primary HELOC, we already owe 
$200,000 on the HELOC. I typically leverage whether it's to invest, pay off debt or fund or finance a major expense. I don't like to borrow. This is my, me personally for my own finances. I don't like to borrow more than two thirds, 66% or 67% of my available credit. So if we took the $1 million number, 1,053,000, and we times that by 67%, that'd be $705,510. The fact that I'm using the $850,000 number that's roughly i'm over leveraging myself by nearly 145 thousand more dollars over leveraged so let's let's put that so we're 145 thousand plus over leveraged just looking at my my one rule right of leverage capacity then to to validate the 705 number i also take my cash flow times it by 12 is okay 7167 times 12 is 86000 86000 from 705000 is a major major gap so what i do is i say okay 705000 was was a number and some change and i'm going to divide that by my monthly cash flow and say look what i'm basically doing is i'm leveraging 98 months worth of future cash flow 98 months of future cash flow is what i'm leveraging i'm pulling money from the future to finance this purchase this large expense and the way that i'm pulling from the future is by leveraging debt the equity that i've been able to build up across four properties in addition to the leverage there's also the interest cost that comes with it right so if we're to you know estimate what that'll look like. I'll break it down for you guys, but that's something that I would want you to do if you're considering either leveraging debt to pay off debt, leveraging debt to invest and make more money, or leveraging debt to finance a major purchase. Consider these rules to make yourself aware of what you're doing. Oftentimes, we don't know what we're doing, and then we go and do it with all this confidence, and then life happens this comes up oh over budget oh this happened oh wife got sick oh i'm sick oh the kid da, 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 right and then before you know it we're in financial crisis and now you're scrambling on the internet trying to look for a solution